Hello, family. Welcome once again to another moment of what? Faith on, on fire. fire. And we are on fire this week with the faith of God. You know, we've been talking about your faith and walking in your faith, walking in your love, walking in purity, walking in how you live and how you use your words and what you say is so important. You know, there was a time that Jesus was speaking to Simon Peter in Luke chapter 21, verse 31. He said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as we. The devil wanted to tear your life apart. But Jesus said, I pray for you that your faith fail not. And then he said now, and when you are converted, not if, but when you are converted, now strengthen your brethren. And so, you know, your faith will always be tested but God knows that you're gonna pass that test. And when you pass the test, go and strengthen someone else. I love it. It says, Satan has a desire to sift you as wheat. Mm -hmm. But I love the answer to that. Jesus says, I pray that yes. your faith fail you not. Look how powerful your faith is. Mm -hmm. You know, our faith is in the faithfulness of Jesus. Yes. And Satan can't do anything with a man or a woman who has faith in the faithfulness of Jesus. And once you are converted to that lifestyle, you can go share your testimonies, your breakthroughs. Amen. You can share your <laughs> stories with other believers and strengthen them as well so that Satan also won't be able to sift them as wheat. We Amen. have the victory. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Hold on to your faith. Don't allow the uh -huh. enemy to take the faith of God from you. Use your faith. Share your stories. Yes. That's what I heard out of that. Yes. And people need to hear it. They'll be strengthened by it. They'll yeah. be converted by it, yeah. by your testimony of how God has kept you. Well, that's another Faith on Fire moment. We've enjoyed it this week so much. We'll see you next week. God bless you.